What's up guys, it's your boy Christian Back in another video Now, I I just bought me a new Toy For landscaping it Sucks leaves up And I'm about to show it to you Bam A leaf vacuum trailer Now, I'm going to show you guys why I wanted one of these First, it holds a lot more than my trash can I'm gonna show you that. See how this lift up and bam, and it comes out there. And you can see it's pretty packed. So I wish it mulched them up. Well, the only problem is tie a little tie flat. And this is where all that work goes into. This is su it spins, sucks them up, comes up the chute. And back into this trail. You know, I bought this and like a week ago maybe. And when I first, well, second time I started, it's supposed to be a. Uh, you see, there's a. Uh, the uh, a plate is missing, and I would and I use like this to start the old-fashioned way. Just wrap around it, pull it, yank it. I got throttle and shit here, and I got a, I had to buy a hitch ball for it, and that, that was easy, you know, on Amazon and all that, and the problem is, when it's at throttle, I mean, when it's running, sucking up leaves, the back door turns lift up. Now, I know when I bought it, he had these on him, I don't know if you can see him. Oh, they'll latch up in there. I'll show you. They latch up. I don't like that. I mean, it's nice how it does. How it does. So, another problem. This right here is too. It's too small. I got one on my trash can that's like four times the size of that. It's good. And I'm gonna uh, put it on the side because. All debris coming out from the left side. Hit the back door, drop down, pause up. And other problem, you can see it. There's this little L bracket right there. And if you can see the, bl the blower housing is moving. And the other, when I bought it, the dude had a, a, a strap on it. Because it was getting loose, because a lot of vibration. And then, but uh, when you suck leaves up, you probably like, strain on the motor. And I don't like that. I'm gonna start vibrating. But I just sucked some of these leaves up. Now, I did put a hose on this, but I messed up. I had to take it off again. And you can see still a piece of that on there. Because the screws were too long and, it, and the impeller was hitting the screws. And I thought I could, like, uh, Car the screws out, but no, I thought it was perfect, you know, to start up, but it didn't work, and I had to take it off, and I don't have a piece, because there's supposed to be, like, a, an inlet head, I don't, I don't have one, there's one I found on eBay for $170, and that's too expensive, so I was thinking, I had to take, like, a five-gallon bucket, put it on a head, and put smaller screws on it, and put a six-inch hole in it. Because I have a six inch uh, clear hose that works for these. I have a, also a five foot eight, eight inch hose and that works. But llama ain't doing it. So I, so I pay a couple hundred dollars for this. Good deal. It runs great. Only another problem is when I go to wrap it around it. I don't know if you can see it, but this, whatever you call this, this, that tends to slip, and I do not like that, because I'm a little worried, because I was thinking I can get a, a bolt, or a, uh, I don't know what you call them, but I can just put it on a, a socket, there you go, put a socket on it, and spin it over my drill, <laughs> yeah, I wrap it around it, uh, uh, put it at, like, idle, now I put it on choke, pull it, it'll start up, now I put it on run, 
I'll show you that. So to start it, you put it on choke, idle, and I'll show you guys how I start it. But I ain't gonna do it right now because I got leaves, a lot of leaves in it. I don't want to blow a little driveway. I'm gonna show you that when I get in the backyard. There's gonna be another video to that. So stay tuned and peace.